Hey gang! We're just waiting for uh, the state of play to get started. It's gonna be started in a couple of minutes. This microphone is on. Desktop audio is on, so you guys should be able to hear it. I'm gonna tone it down a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, so what are we expecting to see at the state of play? Um, we are... Sony have told us that we will see um, Rise of the Ronin and Stellar Blade stuff, um, as well as 15 plus other games, which means 16. Why they didn't just say that, but whatever. If it was if it was 20, they would have said 20. Let's put it that way. Maybe they just didn't want to say 16 or 17. 15 sounded better for marketing reasons. Um, we'll probably see something about Hell Divers because that's out soon. Probably something from Final Fantasy VII: The Rebirth. That's out pretty soon as well. Dragon's Dogma, maybe, because it's out pretty soon. Uh, but after that, speculation... The speculation is that there'll be Death Stranding 2 news, Silent Hill news. Um, there's a Metro VR game that the Metro team have been working on, so that might be also shown off. Anyway, we'll see. Beverage ready. There's Hell Divers. I did say it would show up. It's out like next week. If anything, this is more of an ad for it than anything else. Helldivers is a third-person, four-player PvE thing where you're you're dropped into various combat zones and the four of you together have to take on waves of increasingly difficult enemies. I'd say it's I'd say it's a lot of fun with friends. I would say it's pretty much not great. What? Why is the X-Files? Oh, that's Mel. <laughs> that's Melvin raiding me. I was like, why is there X Files music playing in this trailer? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Herman. Hey Melvin, how you doing? Studios, and I'm honored to present the first state of play of 2024. The first three years of PS5 have given us incredible stories, immersive have they? worlds, and have they, Herman? breaking gameplay from PlayStation Studios and their partners. We've Citation needed there, Herman. PlayStation Plus with new features including PS5 game streaming. And oh, PCR thanks. Works and only in one particular Portal. city in the US. November, we're committed to offering new and surprising ways for audience to interact <laughs> with their Surprising people. is a word to use, alright. This means anything without great games, like Helldivers 2, which kicks off a year of amazing experiences and diverse ways to play. Today, we're looking ahead to titles coming later this year and beyond, with extended games and beyond and announcements we hope you find as Coming soon in 2032. Year. Enjoy the show. I missed inscription. I guess the pod. Yeah, yeah. We act, I only like just wrapped up on it as well. All right, we're jumping into Stellar Blade straight away. I'm kind of interested to see when this release date is. So Stellar Blade is a is an anime, Korean Dark Souls kind of thing. Um, at least that's how it's been presented in. The small amount of stuff we've seen about it. Sony doesn't really have anything in summertime right now. Welcome to the world of Stellar Blade. Now, games don't typically come out in summertime anyway, so the story begins on it's a question of whether or not they will have this come out summertime or if they'll push it into to an off -world colony. September, October. Players will take control of Eve, a member of the 7th Airborne Squad. Her mission is to save the planet by defeating the Elder Natiba. All we must do is complete the mission. While most of the 7th Airborne Squad is lost during their descent from the colony, Eve soon meets two new companions. Adam, born on Earth, is in pursuit of an energy source Step. called Hypersight. Make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha Natiba is. So this must be 8 or 7. Lily, a member of the 5th Airborne Squad, provides engineering support. Lily Artemis II, 
Why are they? They're very British. Why are they, why are they so British? Your technique puts your technical knowledge to use by upgrading Eve's equipment throughout the game. Here, done. Something does feel different. Is Eve's job also to walk around in an impractical skin-tight suit? Not complaining. Just this doesn't seem very not. tactical. A city built underneath the wasteland by the last human survivors on that guy's really gotten that fish underneath the wasteland eve is called angel, angel by the survivors and is an object of both awe and fear i'm not selling anything to you they'll seem a bit wary at first but will angel. gradually loosen up as eve issues? shows a commitment to rebuilding the city hello angel how are you i see we have guests i can't believe the angel is here that's a lot the of hair survivors will sometimes ask eve for help this is starting to feel a lot like Near Automata. Game, not gameplay wise, just kind of the setting. Because even has a desert. He has a robot that follows her, it's sword combat. <laughs> she has an impractical costume. And malfunctioning machines and robots. Yep, malfunctioning machines and robots. That's Near Automata as well. A supply camp. In a place like this, you'll occasionally find supply stations set up by previous airborne squads. I see she has all sorts of impractical At each uniforms. Team, Eve can purchase various consumable items. Acquire new skills. What do you mean purchase? I'm trying to save the world or something. Give it to me for free. Upgrade I'm wondering now if that's enough. armor she's wearing. She armor. Also take a well or PG armor. And... Or if it is just costumes, if they're just cosmetics. Eve will often encounter people in need, and other non-human beings who may need her help. Request your assistance. Whether to assist or ignore them is entirely up to the player. On her journey to defeat the Elder Natiba, Eve will sometimes encounter hostile survivors. Ow. Or... Big boys. What is wrong with you? It's got an interesting hat. Worse. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nitiba? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. You mean the extinction of all Natibas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. They keep calling. Easy fight. They're it's calling the enemy Alpha Nativa and Elder Nativa. Angel, which is it? The unofficial name for members of the Eve Airborne Squad. I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. I will find it, and I will make it pay. Open it. It's windy. No more lies to blind my eyes. To I mean, it's certainly a very pretty game. It's, the camera seems very low. It's like, that last boss she was fighting, you couldn't see the top of it. Which might be an issue. And it looks like all of the enemies she's fighting are pretty big. A lot of what could be cosmetics or what could be armor parts or what have you. It doesn't seem like she has much in the way of different weapons. Looks like it is all sword. Which might change, maybe? That's a lot sooner than I thought it would be. Okay. Hello, 수년간 유저 여러분들께 선보이기 위해 꿈꿔왔던 게임이며 플레이스테이션 5 그리고 플레이스테이션 스튜디오의 전폭적인 지원 덕분에 
그 꿈을 현실화할 수 있게 되었습니다. 기나긴 여정이었고 빨리 팬분들이 4월 26일 스텔라 블레이드를 만나보시기를 기대합니다. I think this is a Sonic Generations remaster or something. Never really got into Sonic. It always felt like a... <laughs> okay, Shadow's in it as well. It always just felt like a messy game. Okay, so I guess this it's like a collection of games, or is it this new stuff for Shadow? I wouldn't recognize it. Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. Okay. It's a new game. This is uh, Zenless Zone Zero. This is the next thing from the Hoyo guys, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, that kind of thing. Um, this one is more of a cyberpunk type thing, but it's um, it's like real-time spectacle combat. So like brawler stuff, Let's think like the old Devil May Cry is the old God of War, that kind of thing. Sonic Generations have a release date? I didn't catch it. If it did, no release date for that. Just in development. Nice. Cool. Alright. This is Square Enix's We Have Splatoon at Home. Uh, it's free. PlayStation Plus next week. How long before it's shut down? <laughs> how, many, how many months do you give it? I give it six months. might save it is like Square Enix crossovers, like if you're starting to get Final Fantasy skins, Legend of Mana skins, that Nier skins, that kind of stuff. Dave the Diver, PS5 edition. Godzilla? Is Godzilla coming to Dave the Diver? Yep. <laughs> That's a weird one, but okay. Good luck, Dave. I don't know who stun lock are. Vampires though. Oh, uh, I do know what this is. It's the game I keep forgetting that isn't Vampire Survivors, but it sounds like Vampire Survivors. V Rising, I think, is what it's called. 
It's like if Castlevania was a, a base builder type thing or a survival type game. I think it's called V Rising. It's like, what if Castlevania, but you're playing Dracula and you're you're building up the castle and recruiting min minions and going out to fight them and stuff. Yeah, V-Rising, that is what it was called. Okay, it's been out on PC in early access, I think, for a while. So maybe it's version one is coming out this year. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Benson. This next game is a result of a very close partnership with Konami and marks the return Silent of a franchise that has been with us since the original PlayStation. So there was rumors about it's Silent Hill getting news. Hill. Hopefully this isn't the Bloober team, Silent Hill 2 stuff, because we've seen enough of it. Kind of want to know what the other games they're working on, what they look like. Um, there's also rumors that this might be a stealth drop, stealth release. So it might, might be available sooner than you think. That's some fidelity you got there. Holy shit. What's with this place? I think this is uh, the short message, I think is what it's called. Of death. What are you hiding inside? Maya? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> nope. I'm out of there. Run away! Stop! <laughs> Run away! What do they do to deserve this? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, that's the short message. Okay. The whole game is free to play. Right now? Oh, it looks like it's a roguelike type thing. Right. No mention of it being uh, available right now. ソニーとキルシリーズのプロデューサーを務めるオカモトモトイです。ご覧いただいたのはサイレントヒル雑誌オートメッセージという全く新しいサイレントヒルとなります。本作は本日この後プレゼントされます。コナミが送る現代を
Ghost Story. All right, we haven't heard from these guys in a while. This is Ken Levine after Irrational Games imploded under his leadership. After Bioshock Infinite came out, he moved on to make Ghost Story games. Uh, and this is Judas. We haven't seen much from Judas in about four years. Bioshock, all right. Yep, that's a Bioshock, all right. So we still don't know what's happening with it. That's very Bioshock. Like, not a whole lot of evolution in the idea. We had, I had to see more about the game, but... Stare into the flame. I was expecting something better. Think of this fire. Metro, I think. It's warm. Yeah, you, can, you can hear the Geiger it's counter now. Energy. Now, focus your mind on your wife and step into the void. as well. Jump scares in VR are dangerous. It's a really easy way to destroy very expensive equipment. Metro VR release date? No. Some stage this year. Uh, it looked pretty good, but the real question on VR games is length and... That was gonna be James Bond for a second. Um, Alright, more VR stuff. And, like, Metro has a lot of this stealth mechanics, so oh, if I have to actually physically crouch to, to do stealth, I don't think I'll be able to play it. My knees will explode. Hey, that skeleton. <laughs> How's that skeleton staying alive? Or not staying alive, staying together. simulator so there have been a lot of these VR melee games and some of them work really well and some of them are just jank as fuck so it's difficult to tell just from footage what Wait, it'll, it'll work out but it seems like it's out pretty soon I knew you would come a risen one there's dragon's dogma Really looking forward to this. When the time is come. Look out, Arisen! We're under attack! Look here, beast! Calm and face me! Monster, watch out! 
he's changing jobs on the fly there. That's interesting. You couldn't... You could change jobs in Dragon's Dog, but you couldn't do it mid-combat. Strength of will, Arisen One. Those who can be of aid to you will reveal themselves in time. Thy will, thy soul, these are all the means thou hast to carve thy path anew. Think they have the same voice actor to play the dragon? Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not. Grigori? ゴリ。え、皆さんこんにちは。チーム忍者の安田です。え、ライブ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ。ゴリ
All right, same day as Dragon's Dogma. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a rough day, because the Peach Princess Peach game comes out there that day as well. What did you do? Just messing around, man. I'm being serious. As until dawn. It's just a prank, Han. Things I need to make sure you understand. Gordon gives you ten seconds. No, please, no. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. It was just a prank hand. <laughs> there it is. It's just a prank hand. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. The choice. Is I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Sam. Looking for me? in time for the unnecessary movie we get an unnecessary remake mm -hmm. that's trending hmm Squiddy. <laughs> I thought she was wearing a gas mask. <laughs> Why are they just hands? Mmm. Ow, 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 ow. Ah. Uh, have that problem sometimes. Making me old. Is that Tro Troy Baker's character? Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. And to the G8 v Magellan, our mobile base of operations. Come on, I'll help you get your bangs. <laughs> oh, it's, it's not even gonna phase you. Death Stranding's a weird fucking game. Their paces. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> These rooms over here belong to other members of the crew. They're pretty much the same as yours. When did when Sam get so end, huge and blonde? This is one hell of a ship you got here. Is he blonde or is it gray hair? UCA, I'm guessing. No. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. That's why you're we wearing the military the clothing? Plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA big shot. Don't ask me. We've never met face to face. They value their privacy. Seriously? No better than to believe that bullshit. The thing with Death Stranding is... Like, there's here all spread out. other Sam. Cut off from one another. We want you to help us bring the world together. <clears throat> Sam, would you mind if I join you? Yes. Humor him. His knowledge and experience will probably come in handy down the road. Yes. Really, Sam? Yeah. Find the butt. Your buttocks? <laughs> what about shotgun? I prefer the driver's seat. Sam, do you read me? You'll first need to access the Mexico side plate gate terminal. After we've confirmed network coverage, we can so, take the DHV Magellan and 
I guess we're going outside of the US for Death Stranding too. That's not the plan, Sam. The UCA isn't looking to expand its borders. Just like with Mexico, they want to bring new regions into the network. Anyway, the DHV Magellan's here to back you up. As I assume uh, way to expand the network. The ship looking like Metal Gear Rex is on purpose. That's right. These days I'm fragile in name only. You brought America together. Helped it be reborn as the UCA. No, my bridge! But I'm afraid the death stranding is far from over. Humanity is still in danger. Still on the brink of extinction. Don't act like you don't see it. That's a big moon. A lot of things changed after you went off on your own. Especially within the UCA. Don't like that. Bridge is no longer oversees the distribution network. They withdrew once things were up and running. So your friends and co-workers all went their separate ways. Within network coverage, there's no need to rely on human porters anymore. So after I closed up shop, I went and started a new group. One that handles work in regions outside the UCA. We decided to call ourselves Drawbridge. With the support of the Chiral Network and APAS, humanity will be free. That is from that is not a dog. Bots are capable of handling deliveries. He's alive. He called himself a ghost, but we found a way back from the beach just so he could kill us. He said he came back to get revenge on you and me. Hey, brother. Did you miss me? No, yeah, not really. I figured you'd pay this place a visit, seeing as how I've been distributing the fruits of this fine factory all over the continent. With guns and violence, the whole damn world could be yours. Same as it ever was. Oh. Looks like you decided to trade in that rope for a stick this go round. Well, I suppose even a porter has to pull the trigger from time to time. Oh, what about you? Hey, buddy. Are you just another soulless little husk, huh? Let go of me! <laughs> Pathetic guitarist, where's the rest of your band? No, uh, 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 uh. That's something. Was it you, Heads? Huh? Was it you that killed Lil? You still don't know, do you? What the fuck? <laughs> Surely a gun would have been more used to you, Higgs. You're gonna have to find them yourself. But the ones you do find, well, that pain you nurse will only get worse. Sam the man in the dark about everything. Don't forget, coming on this expedition was meant to help you find the strength to carry on. And you have. We all know you've got this. Now it's time to finish the journey, Sam. It's somehow weirder than the first game, and I didn't think that'd be possible. Please understand, Sam. We never meant to string you along. 
That chrysalis, we found her inside. It was filled with a fluid that contained amino acids. One's identical in structure to the kind found in tar. I'm sorry, there are amino acids in tar? As in proteins? Of course. How else did you think that chiral creatures could emerge from it? Some have even theorized that the tar is a sort of primordial soup. I was there. I saw her home. It was a hellhole. You see, after you left Bridges, I decided to do a little digging. Now, according to them, BB-28 was flagged for disposal and subsequently incinerated four years ago, long before you and Lou first met. Not this year, though. George Miller was working on it? And now here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima-san. All around crazy, man. Hey, welcome. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. え、準備を始めてますけども、え、デストランディング 2 a new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima. This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit. One of your favorite genres, Herman. Why haven't you made any games in that genre then? えっとですね。まだ詳しくは言えませんけども、え、最先端のテクノロジーと、え、世界中の才能を集結して作る予定です。<laughs> え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルック、物語、テーマ、キャスト、演技、ファッション、サウンド、え、どれをとっても、え、同時に映画でもあるようなものです。え、本作で、え、映画とゲームの壁を越えた
it looks very good. Um, like graphically, fidelity wise, uh, gameplay, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be another cat, cat and mouse stealth horror thing which i'm not a huge fan of but it is free so i might give it a shot more of a look at silent hill 2 real focus on combat in that trailer and silent hill games are not really known for their combat psychological horror is their deal anyway uh judas from ken levine bioshock guy um it uh, looked like a lot of bioshock could really have just called it bioshock judas probably and gotten away with it uh, Metro VR looked interesting. Again, those kind of VR games, it's just a question of what what the gameplay is like and how long the game is. A lot of VR games have a lot of promise, but they just don't go on long enough. Like, they're usually very short experiences. And I get why they probably have data that tells them that people don't play VR games for a very long time. You know, they only play them in two-hour bursts or something like that, and that's for whatever reason that the game itself shouldn't be long. It's, it's not really. Legendary Tales was like a, a VR dungeon crawler type thing. See, there's been a lot of those kind of games, so they're hit and miss. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 is more Dragon's Dogma. Yes, please. Hook it to my veins. Rise of the Ronin um, looks like Ghost of Tsushima with maybe some more involved combat. Um, Until Dawn has an unnecessary remake, for some reason. Game is still perfectly fine, runs on PS4, which means it runs on PS5. It was not necessary to remake it, but whatever. Maybe they needed to do it for um, the PC port, possibly. Anyway, and then Death Stranding 2 is, of course, Hideo Kojima nonsense. Don't take anything you see in that trailer as anything, really. It, it will not make sense, even when the game actually comes out. Uh, but it's not coming out until next year at some point. Um, I would think early next year. In the March end of things, probably something like that. Anyway, um, I'll have a little bit more time to look at those trailers and whatever news and previews come out of it. Uh, and we will talk a little bit more about that on Sunday as part of the weekly news recap. Anyway, I'm going to head off. Thanks, Melvin, for dropping by, giving me, uh, keeping me some company. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in, well, the comments, I suppose, on the VOD, or join me on Sunday at the Weekly News Recap, and we can all talk about it. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.